Hello everybody and welcome to a new video from Technology Central. Today I'm going to take you through adding Netflix as a password, although this will work for anything you want that contains a username or password for the last pass to autofill. You can do this either by signing in or registering. I'm going to be showing you signing in, although this works basically the exact same when you register also. So if I go to last pass, use the next extension up here. Now this is the extension you will have installed from the last video. If you haven't, just feel free to go and Google installing last pass extension to browser, and it'll do that for you. It can also it can be installed on most major browsers. And there we go. So we have this extension that is crucial for this part of the video and no passwords. So if I go to Netflix, click sign in, and then I enter the email. And I also enter the password. There you go, I'm logged in and I've got this prompt at the top right here. Now what this allows me to do is add it it also allows you to click up now, and also you can press that icon, that pencil icon, and it gives you options to change the folder it's under, never save this site, or even show the password. So if I click add, brilliant. Now if I go to last pass, it's already shown up, and you can see I've now got this new password here. What we can now do with this password is go to settings here, which is the spam icon. And you get this nice pop up window. We get the name fit, which is Netflix.com, which you can name whatever you want. You can set a folder for it. You could your username, which in this case is email, and then the site password. You also then can leave notes and maybe even require the username the password to be only retrieved when you use the master password. And you can even make it so that it just logs in for you so you don't even need to click the button, for example. Or you can disable autofill outright. Now if I show you here, you've got favorites to pin it. So if you have, say, 50 passwords, you can make this one of your favorites. So it's a lot easier to find. And then you can delete it if you need to. Or you can go additionally into the spam icon again. And you can add a field here. So if you had a form that would need three fields, let's say there was a secret secret message section, for example, as like your additional verification for that website or whatever, you could add a field here called secret message. Tell it what field it is. So most, if it's a secret message, uh, it will likely be a password field, but some websites may make it a text box, so we then go secret sharing. Then it's a field that that's what you would have. And now when you go here, that's what it is. I'm going to remove that because we don't need it. If I click save, it's fine again. So you've also got this two people icon, and you also have it here. So if I click that, on the premium, you can add more than one. And on the free, you are only allowed one. So if in the instance of never going to share with other people, which for the most part, you probably aren't. But with Netflix, you might be as an exception. But for most websites, you aren't. So that's fine. And the free is fine for a lot of people. So if I add the sharing email here, and then up. This basically means, as it says, view password, and you'd want this in the case of if a user needs to view it. For example, if it's not autofilling, because there are cases where the autofill doesn't work quite as well as we'd like, but it's not often, but that's when they can copy the password paste in, or if they need it for any other reason. That allows them to basically just easily view the password in the edit menu, for example. So if I now go and share that, You'll now see that I now have the last pass here and it says to accept the shared data and it tells me who it's from 
And when I go into it, it would accept and show it. And you, they'd have a similar thing to this. And that is, don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the next video.